All right, everybody, just want to bring you a little quick little update. Finally had the, uh, I was waiting on the actual connector cable here, the XT120, and then uh, I cut the end off, and then it just goes up to the actual hum sink wall unit here on the side, but I got everything hooked up, and it is working excellent. There is the 53 volts right on the money here at 97%. This one is showing 96%, 53.3 volts, but I done run some load tests on it. Everything works great. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work that I notice here is the, the actual countdown on the hours. It's just mainly thinking it's still this machine, but like I said, they are definitely both hooked up here. So, but yeah, and, and like I said, underneath here, there's shrink wrap. There's uh, these nice splice connections. Don't think I just, electrical tape i just did that to hold everything together but yeah the xt120 adapter and then you take the end off and then uh like i said i just connected it to the to the actual cables here that goes up to the side of the hum sink and it does have a breaker here built in so plus this this unit here only pulls a maximum of 3600 watts so there's no, and like I said, it won't pull the whole 3600 from here. It pretty much splits it. So I'm not too concerned about an inline breaker. Like I said, if anything does go wrong, the actual breaker here should get it, or the BMS control should get it, or the BMS control here should get it. But yeah, so far so great. Uh, like I said, I do have the uh, 30 amp plugged in the uh, the shop panel over here. Running the lights, fridge, deep freeze, all kinds of stuff. But uh, I'm going to do a better video coming up, give you a better rundown. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. This, uh, this little package here is working excellent. So stay tuned for the video. Appreciate it.